my dad had this grand plan for me. Um, he was also, you know, a businessman, just used to do small time things and make ends meet. Uh, he hated to, he hated to be called a property dealer, so he was a property consultant. Uh, and uh, he had this grand plan for me. He's like, um, uh, you know, all my friends, uh, I can go sell them insurance, but you, because he can't go study, he's like at 18, you can go become an insurance agent, so why don't you go study, become an insurance agent, but I will do the selling for you, and don't worry, all my friends will buy insurance from you, and then every year you will get the uh, money, you know, so this was his grand plan for me. You know, to secure my future, he's like, I will hustle, and she will keep getting that money whenever the insurance renews. Okay, so I went to Rittunanda School of uh, Insurance in in GK2. I and I went uh, to study there, and uh, I gave my exams, and I got a job at Tata AIG. Um, and I was too excited about the stationery. You know, you get, you, 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 you feel so important when you have your own business card. You know, at the age of 18, you have like a business card and you're, it's real, you know. So I love, I fell in love with the stationery more than anything else. But what I learned in that school and that stayed with me all my life uh, is because here we are, we are going to go to other middle class people of our social economic background and say, you know, why don't you buy insurance? But because after you go, you know, your family will be looked after. Uh, so it's a very difficult thought for people who are living end to end to allow them to have another set of expenditure periodically. So what they taught us that um, you are going to get a lot of no's. You are going to get, so the rule, the thumb rule is 10 no's and then one yes. So that, so keep going with your nose, you know, don't get dejected because people are not going to sign up with you. And then the 11th person will come and say, yes, let's do it. So this has stayed with me all my life. And what happened was that it allowed me to celebrate my nose. So whichever room I enter, I'm like, and they're like, oh, who's this person, you know? Quickly say no. I was like, quickly say no. So they're just like, because then this person was saying yes is right around the corner and I can move on. Right? So even when we were funding lunch box or anything, any room that I was renting, I was like, but fada fada mana kar do. And they're just like, but what if you want to consider? I said, yeah, yeah, consider, but just quickly say no to me. Because I actually started celebrating no's and some wire changed in my brain, which just did not let me um, feel dejected in personal life, in series of boyfriends, and in professional life, with series of no's and rejections. It's just like you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. So that I learned from the insurance. Beautiful story. Yeah.